I always tell you this, what play works all the time? Play hard. What play are you running? Play hard. As I say to you guys, when we play teams, other teams are playing against our legacy. I can't coach when you get frustrated and you're saying they're not passing. Well, guess what? You just got two major write-ups that across the country. They said you're the most productive player in these great basketball from East and West. You know why? They said there's nobody in the country like you. So you know what the respect of this game? They don't team. But now, how do we take that to the next level? Because the goal is to make sure what our culture is, right? I had all this other stuff on the board. I, had, I took it off. I want to make sure you're in a highly competitive environment every day. That's going to be for life, man. When you get to your real jobs, right? When the air comes out of the basketball for you guys, no one's going to take it easy on you. Bring it in. Gotcha's on three, family on six. One, two, three! Gotcha! What's up, man? Family! First and foremost, I don't know if everyone knows who I am. I'm the director of the boys basketball program for the New York City Gauchos. My name is Emmanuel Book Richardson. As a player, I went to St. Raymond's High School. I won the city championship in 1991. I was Division I JUCO All-American. I led the nation in assists. I'm a former college coach. I've had multiple lottery picks. I've had the number one overall pick, DeAndre Ayton. I've had the number two overall pick, Derek Williams. I stand on my legacy. I stand on making sure that this program will be as recognized as, as probably the best AAU program in the country. Diet got me on. Got me on diet. But basketball, this thing right here, what it represents, nobody's got me on that. New York Gauchos is probably the most storied AAU program in the country. Legacy, you know, that you're playing for something greater than yourself. The Gauchos were started really to give some inner city youth uh, an opportunity to be exposed to maybe some things that they wouldn't have been exposed to uh, growing up in, in, in inner cities. Our intensity, you should hear it on the Grand Concourse. Is that a deal? Yes, coach. Is that a deal? Yes, coach. You got it. Take the young fellas with you, lead them. The culture has to, it has to resonate who you are. Arms out. I don't want your hands here, I want your arms here in the pass lane. Okay, right? We're sliding. Push out. Back to the middle. Now it's, it's high hands, it's a shot, and just, you explode. Go! Shuttle just to get these guys going. Next up, next up, next up. We can't talk about how important defense is, and then we and we do nothing to you know to reinforce it every day. Get a stop, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. That's good work. I try my best to make sure that I keep them normal. Go! There you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. Way to move! Way to move! Hold up! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, what, what, what was that? What do you mean you messed up? So why wouldn't you keep going? You guys were winning. You stopped. I can't have you stop in the game and practice because that's what we're preparing you for, right? You talk about your culture. Your teammates needed you. If you play golf or tennis, that's fine, it's just you. But again, you were the anchor, you were the last guy. They're depending on you. It's about effort, it's about hard work, it's about communication. In life, there's gonna be a day like, you know what, man? It's tough today. What are you going, you're not gonna go through the day? But you know why I'm disappointed? Because you stop. Like, I, I can care less if you make mistakes. I make mistakes every single day. Right you stop right there. Yeah, right here, right? Is this made for TV? Like, even if the cameras are on, we're on, he still is. My point is, but don't stop. You were winning. I never judge you by the mistake that you made. What did you do after that mistake? In the game, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to turn the basketball over. I'm going to, hey, I, I'm going to miss something as a coach. I'd have lost my mind. Because here's the thing, you're too talented of a kid, you're too talented of a young man to ever do that. The goal is to make sure that you give them just enough where you like, hey, come out your comfort zone. 
I know you can make a time. You just got to make it. I know you can make that shot. You just got to take it. What's the one play that always works? That, that play always works. Start in the corner. Go. I know I, I want to be upbeat. Um, I know I want my kids to have fun. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Team Black is using their coach's challenge. And, you know, I think you, got, you have to have a little um, humor to you. And we you, want, you have to be lighthearted. Got it. Successful challenge by time. Have a little bit of fun while they're working hard. There you go, there you go. High hands, high hands. We are now playing baseball. In the first inning, there's one player versus one player the coach has it. You throw it to him, he's got three dribbles. Defense, you're gonna go below him. Like, however you wanna deny it, whatever, but you, you catch it, on the catch, you have three dribbles. One, two, two three. fouls in the possession is a basket. If you score, that's a run, just like baseball. If you get a stop, that's an out, you got three outs. Now you go two on two, it's the second inning. You start saying the games, these are the guys who should be solid on defense. It's a little bit of pride thing because everyone's watching. And you start to say like our defensive keep, principles, keep score, you know, when you pass it, you jump to the ball. You know, one pass away, you're in the gap. Front it, Jack, front it, front it, front it, front it. Swarm, 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 there you go. Keep fighting, there you go, there you go, there you go. Nice. I can give you something that I can work on all the time. One, two step, one, two step, one, two step. That's what we do here, man. That's what we do here, one, two step. It's not a matter of did I coach it the right way? It's a matter of, are you guys picking it up? And if not, I gotta find a way to make sure that I can translate from my brain to your ears. Every time you hop into a shot, it never goes in. It should be this, it should be this. One, two step, every single time. Because here's what happens. If you want to step out of rim, you get by somebody. If you hop, it's either gonna be a travel or your footwork ain't together. I'm just telling you, if you caught it, and you add the rim, you gonna knock that down. Let me see, let me see, let me get that shot. One, two, step into it, one, two, step into it. But if they don't see success, I don't care what you tell them, they have to see success, they are kids. There you go, there you go. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, that's it. Guys, we did a really good job of competing, man. Like defensively, it's starting to become personal. Um, we've had four, four like, like war games um, on the road. Um, you know, next week we have another three that are that gonna be killer. Like when you guys play really hard, everybody else plays hard. I'm gonna coach you guys that way. When you lead the way you led today, like you were an absolute floor general. I can't ask anything more. I can't. And as I fight emotion, like. I'm one of these kids. I was one of these kids. You know, I, I see myself in so many of these kids. They all I got. You know, I, I gotta get to know one of them and, and individually to understand what they truly need in that two hour, in that two hours, you know, space. Bring it in. Great bunch. Really good bunch. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Yo, 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 yo. Bring it home, yo. Y'all go on, man. Y'all don't, don't even watch them the way I watch them. Y'all don't even watch them. Tired, coach. Tired. Tired. Tired, tired coach. Tired, tired, tired. We should always want to compete. That's the goal. You sink or swim. Survival in the deep end. Survival in the jungle. Jungle warfare. We is always ready to meet. Bring it in. 
Hey. Thou shalt go three, family number six. One, two, three. Thou shalt go four, five, six, family. Bring it in, 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 bring it in. Here's the thing, I like, I just, I just, I just heard him say everybody count. Like, if you want to talk right now, why, when will you talk? I'm gonna start dealing with that from the very beginning. Like, we talk about a highly competitive environment. A highly competitive environment is something that we all talk about. I know how the practice is gonna go by one of my leaders. Restart. Got that from Coach Pete Carroll. Life's truly a highly competitive environment. This is your practice. I just happen to be the coach. Never look for captains or leaders. Usually the better kids, everyone else will listen to it. You talk about having being the best in the city. This is how it looks. Let's have a great two hours. Sit down in the stance, man. Sit down in the stance. Get in the stance. Get in the defensive stance. Go! You always want to be in the stance. You know, again, you don't want to, you don't want to create or reinforce bad habits. Don't you dare clap. Some of you guys are just like punching the clock because you're saying it's just a lane line. What you will do, you'll give me everything you have. So what you just earned, put 60 seconds up. I need you to be at a really high level and I need you to believe that you're at a really high level. You learn a lot about your teammates under duress. Like right now, this is duress. The mind is saying, yo, I want to quit. If I'm not sitting in a stance, this guy's gonna go by me. If I'm not sitting in a stance, he's gonna foul. What did I just say we have upstairs? We got a highly competitive environment. My goal is to make sure I put you with sharks because I'm the biggest shark here. This is how we weed guys out, foxhole mentality. If I allow them to be quiet in certain segments, quiet and then loud in certain segments, then I'm doing them a disservice. Be one way. Match my intensity. Go! You know, you talk about defensive toughness, and you always want to be fundamentally sound um, on both sides of the basketball, but especially defensively, because you know what? You want to make sure that you can get stops, right? Because if you get stops and you're going out of the way in transition, man, game, game's going to be a little bit more freer in front. Clap it up, folks. Clap it up, clap it up. Nice job. Switch in, switch in, switch in, switch in, switch in. That's good work. It's good work, good fella. I'm just telling you, that's gonna pay off. I know that. So when it happens in the game, hey, we didn't hear the play, but oh, okay, I know what that is. I, I've seen that before. Ta! It's gonna be really loud in here. There's gonna be music blasting. If you don't communicate here, why on God's green earth would you communicate in the game? It's gonna be, can you play in chaos? Hey. Guys aren't communicating, and it's like, wow, in the moment of truth, I needed, I need to hear your voice, and I didn't. You got five men weave, you got six of them. Right? So I'm going to give you a minute to explain. Six five-man weaves. It's a fundamental toughener to get you going. You know, and it makes you think, right? Five-man to three-on-two to two-on-one to one-on-one. That's it. Eight. You got a minute. Go! Sometimes I, I may not look like I'm smiling, but I am. Chaos. Can you operate in chaos? Can you operate up 10? Can you operate down 10? Is it the same? Because uh, if it's the same for you, then that's what being in the foxhole is. This real bullets. This like real bullets right now. You got to compete. Knock down. That's big time, Caleb. Two finishers. Finish. Finish. Turnover. No ball screen. That's great, man. I tell you what, that one more pass is tough, man. I said, when was the last time you won one? They said sixth grade, their eighth grade is down. That's not pressuring them, that's just being honest. We've not won any championships at any level in a very long time. There's a level of complacency here that's through the roof, man. This is buddy ball. I'm gonna pick my man, now you gotta run. Loser has a suicide. <gasps> As a man, like, you gotta say to yourself, who can help me win? Yeah, you start picking different because there's a consequence to it. I don't want to break them down. Like I said, I don't want to break them down. I think, but but I, but I think I think 
I think there's a level of negativity that they shouldn't get right now. I know, I know it's to hold them accountable. I know it's to make sure that we're, 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 we're coaching them at a high level. I know that, but like right now, it's a Monday. You know what I'm saying? They haven't seen us. They haven't seen us since one Thursday. We travel this week, you know. I wanted to make this an execution practice, but it's like, it's not even about that. When, when I say have an execution practice, you just want to go over your stuff. I see the attitude. Like, I, I, I see, like, what will, what will lose us a close game? I see it. We're always playing basketball. I'm always th making you think the game. We're competing, we're winning. Like I said, stay fresh. Stay fresh. When you find someone to guard, it's going to be at the top of the key or opposite of the ball. You are running to help, not the man. Always comes back to who, use your voice. Point, talk, match up, fix it. Once you can switch and start fixing things, but that's why it's point, talk, match up. In transition, right now, you don't have a man. You gotta stop the ball. We may not get a play call, but how do you defend an away screen, right? How do you how do you defend the pin down? How do you defend the ball screen? How do you defend the step up? You gotta stop the ball. You guys ready? Go. So stop, 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 stop. So Markel, that's, that's that's great. I'm glad that happened. I'm gonna find somebody to guard, not my man, but I'm gonna find someone to guard at the top of the key or opposite of the basketball. I need them to know conceptually what they're doing. No, no, because I was right there, so you start to pull there. So, so, but you tell him what to do, point, talk. Ramirez, get him, but you tell him, point, talk, and match up. Come on, y'all. Especially in eighth grade basketball, you get more possessions, you limit those guys, man, you're gonna, you're gonna be in a pretty good spot at the end of the game. You guys understand what we're doing, point, talk, match up. Who's the five that's out? You got a point, you got to use your voices, you got to use your voices, you got to use your voices. When you're trying to hammer any point home, the kids have to have some success with that point. Bring it in, clap it up. Clap it up. <laughs> clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. We had a great practice until the very end. We had a great practice. I'm telling you to the very end, where I probably, I gotta be a better coach and not get frustrated. There's a level of accountability that, that I gotta make sure that you have. Cause if you didn't know now, that means you didn't know three weeks ago, correct? Why do you say, coach, hey, I don't know? Hey, coach, man, what's that thing? So as a teacher, how can I help if I don't know? Because all other students like picking it up, picking it up, picking it up, picking it up, picking it up. I know I'm asking you guys a lot, but I do know this. The goal is this, man. We got what we got. We one of the best teams in the country. That's what that thing stands for. All right? Guys, coach, you got anything? Wednesday at 5 p.m. Wednesday at 5. We travel this weekend, all right? Family on three, guys on six. Chase your dream while you're catching education, and you know that's from the late Tom Kanchowski. Chase your dream while you're catching education. I never got a chance to congratulate you guys, and I probably should have. I probably should have did it up there, but congratulations on Saint Raymond's. Congratulations on Christ the King. Are you committed? You went already. It don't get no better than this, man. It don't get no better than this. That's why we do it. That's why we do it, fellas. Guess what? This is the one thing in sports we always talk about. Man, if we had a chance to play them again. Anytime what's across your chest, someone had, like, they know. They beat us at the buzzer on the tipping. We are the better team. We are the more focused team. That's a put together team. That's an all-star team. We are a true team to the, to the letter of the word, man. But I want to make sure that we impose our will in the game and on the team to make sure we do what we do better than they do what they do. Let's, let's be passionate. Let's make sure we pick our brothers up. Let's make sure they know who we are. Hard work on three, Gauchos on six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Made Hoops event is probably the highest level um, middle school tournament in the country. Because we have a fan base that starts from the 50s and 60s. You're going to get every team's best shot. Everyone wants to beat you because of what you already did to them. Now what I've given those kids, what we've shared, 
If, if, if you've shared something with your team that's, that, that's better, then so be it, you might, you, you might win. So again, store should be middle. You should be win, all right? That's good, that's good, that's good. And one, and one! 22, 22, 22, 22. And I tell them all the time, you're a leader by default, whether you want it or not. Just play. I'm not going to say nothing to you. I'm just going to coach. You're the best player on the court. Go be the best player on the court, man. If we play at 9 a.m., it's the same push. If we play at 8 a.m., same push. They play at 10 p.m., it's the same push. The goal is to win the game. Turn the ball, Kelp! Turn the ball, Kelp! You know, when I go offensive rebound, that's one of the most, I mean, glorifying jobs that you can have because you went and got your team another possession. If you're playing in transition, you're gonna have more shot attempts than them, and you're gonna get easier shots. Let's go, that's how y'all play, man. That's how you play, that's how you play. There you go. There you go. Hey, we doing a great job of playing without the basketball. Defensively, again, we, if we corral it the first time, first one shot, I'm telling you, take a charge, they run out. They're running out of control. Take a charge. I've never seen a kid give all of himself on defense and not do that on offense. Meaning, hey, I, I ran over, I took a charge, I helped the help him. And then on offense, they, they didn't share the basket. They're not trying to um, defend you. They're trying to make you miss and, and, and rebound and, and throw. Like, if we get back, take charges. There you go. You allow the team to pick their captain because I know who they are. You guys just have to, have to acknowledge it. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Hit ahead! You got numbers, you got numbers, advantage! The best player on the other team, you get a, you get a charge taken on him. He probably won't go back into the paint. Why? Because he doesn't want to pick up a second foul. Take a charge. If you take a charge, I'm telling you. It's a turnover. It's a foul. Change of possession. So there should be like this feeling of, this is really difficult tonight. Take away the middle. Back tap. He'll give it up. Brandon, you can't leak out. I know you said they were good, but this good, and, and, and those are the things that I always want to make sure that we implement. Stores middle, cutters, 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 cutters to flood. How, how long, how long? Defensively, you got to slow things out. If, if offense is just moving you, like, you know, like you're not there, then that's going to, somebody's going to score on you all the time. Don't hook him. Yo, Jay, Jay, just show your hands. There's not 20 adjustments I'm going to make in a game. There are going to be some major adjustments and a couple of minor. Get back, get back, stop the ball. You got to stop the ball. Canelo, stop it. Get Canelo out. Pressing, up tempo, you know, attacking. I think what's made the Gauchos really good, and, and, and that's been synonymous over the last four decades, five decades, is that you have all this talent on one team, and how do you mesh them? How do you get them to play? Well, you got to play fast. Ho, ho, stop, 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 Ramirez. Ramirez. We have seven, eight starters. I'm replacing my starter with a starter. 52, 52. I think coaching teamwork every, it, that hap is something that happens every day. We play really hard, man. But now let's put that together hard and smart. Hard and smart. The more you compete against other good players, when you get into the game, you're going to, again, you're going to compete against other guys I don't know if they're as deep as you are. We can't fall in love with the three. Wide open threes, great. But we got to fall in love with penetrating, passing out, wide open, drop. Make them defend. Make them defend, man. Keep the times of crisis when you need it the most. That culture, what you build yourself on, always comes about. Here's the thing, you got to call it down there too now, because we are attacking the basket. You can't keep making an explanation to me why you won't call it. 
Five draws. When these kids go on the road, it's a business trip. <laughs> and I kind of laugh because you want to go and win. You want to go and have the business-like mentality. But business trips, like, if they don't perform, they're not going to win. That's it. You can have them buttoned up. You can have them go to bed at 8.30. You can do all the stuff. But they still have to perform. These kids are kids. In a game, there's going to be something that you can't script. Here's the thing. Come on, man. Yeah, we, we fine. We just got to be solid. I'm saying be solid, be solid, be solid, be solid. What do you want me to do? Just tell me what you want me to do. You want me to go out there and you want me to fight for you? You want me to fight for you guys? We got it. We got it. Come on, man. That's a big knock, man. They make plays for themselves, but they make plays for one another. And it's one of the coolest things because you're facilitating and you're always finding your buddy. You're always finding your partner. Scared of what? What are you scared of? What are you scared of? You couldn't get a rebound down there. Look, look. By the way, you, the guy just blocked out. He thugged you out. Down there. What rebound? Down there. Down there. Come on. Loose ball. 50-50 ball. Come on. I need you. All right. All of those guys have a different stimuli. I challenge them because they set the tone. <laughs> That's how they do it in Brooklyn. That's how they do it in Brooklyn. Where are you going? Where are you going? Like, pass the ball. You did your job. It's too on you. Kick. Don't look over at the bench at me because guess what? We, everyone, you know, everyone in the, in the crowd knows you messed up. Next play. Next play mentality. Hey. Hey. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. We... You go under a shooter, trail him out. What else can he do? We like to go from defense to offense. That's our, you know, that's our style of play. There you go. Open it up, open it up, open it up, open it up. Get yourself together. But you retreat them, you retreat them. I should have called the timeout. Cause I know you tired. That's on me. That's everything that happened. That's all on me. That's my fault. You going back in? Keep the ball there. Keep the ball on the side. If it goes here, Brandon, you down, tie you here. We're dropping again. No, no quick three. Let's go. No, no quick three. Run them off the line. Exactly. Run them off the line. Don't let them roll it either. All right. Go. We got energy up. Here we go. Let's go. Energy on three. One, two, three. Energy. Let's go, yo. It's a little homie. He's a kid that he's just going to be infectious and he's going to give everything that he has. Shooter, 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 shooter. Shooter. I'm a shooter, shooter. I'm a top. Yep, yep. I'm going to give you what you earn. Got you, Balkel. I got you, Balkel. If you earn a minute, I'm going to give you that. If you earn 20 minutes, I'm going to give you that. Right there. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Good love you, family. That's all right. Good right. Yep. Yep. Yo, let's go. Grab your stuff right here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Get your stuff. Great game, y'all. Great game, y'all. Win, lose, or draw. Great game. That had everything to do with how bad y'all wanted to beat that team. That's, that's the punch that everybody should get. That team beat us at the buzzer, right? We made no excuses. What did I say? If we played them again, what would happen? By the way, not only, again, we, we could have called the score. They played harder at, at the very end, but I'm just telling you, that had everything to do with one preparation. We knew our shit. Two, how hard we were playing, and we did what we do better than they do what they do. For once, we gave somebody our best shot. Defensively, nothing they did work. You were an absolute killer today. But you know what? It wasn't about you scoring. It wasn't about you. It was about your overall game. Even if our average margin of victory was one, I don't care, but we have an average margin of victory. We don't have a deficit. When you guys are dominant, I'm telling you, it makes it easy for everyone else. And again, my goal was to make sure that I got you going. I still know you're a little bit hurt. I still know that. But I also know this. 
Come on now. We talk about that face, like that look. You belong out there. You deserve to be here. Play like it. Young fella, that's what high level basketball is about. That's what high level basketball is about. Again, you earned it, you were in practice, but guess what? You had an opportunity to play in the game. I can't ask anything else. Like I said, that was a total team win. We got one more tonight, man. Let's go. All right? Let's go, Let's go, Let's go over this weekend. Family on three, Gauchos on six. One, two, three, Family. four, five, six. Gaucho. Way to play, yo. Picture, y'all, picture, 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 y'all. Honor the legacy, honor the legacy. We're responsible to have you in a highly competitive environment. Now I want you to thrive in it. We gotta play small, we gotta play fast, we gotta rebound the basketball again. But guess what? We gotta have a brotherhood. One, two, three. Family! Who does it? Gotchos! You now are, like, you guys are on, on, on the map. What, what are you gonna do now? I've never had that thing to inquire about two eighth graders. Like, when I say crazy, that never happens. Not here. Kemba got UConn his junior year. They didn't think he was good enough. And they were right, he got better. So let's, let's see what it is. Go. Hopefully you're giving them the opportunity to springboard it um, into college basketball, right? You just want to make sure that those schools are represented well there with your players. We have to be the team known across the country that we are going to win the game because what, what's our goal defensively? Kills. We, kills. And what, what's the number we talk about? At least five. Right? Talk about at least five kills. A kill is three stops in a row. So back to back to back. Boom. That's a kill. Brandon, how many points do we want to give up in a game? We try to give up 45. By the way, we gave up 11 points and a half. I know if we keep you to 45 points, we defend and, and won and score it well enough to get 47. Like, you, you should be able to. Stop, coach, stop, coach, stop, coach. Start over, start over, start over. If you practice the way you play, the games will come easy. We did a great job of stopping the ball. We couldn't get the, we, we couldn't get the rebound. That's a part of we didn't talk. Like, if you don't talk, like, I'm going to punish you. This is in golf where you have to be quiet. Something wrong with your voice? Or you just chose not to talk? Something wrong with your voice? Something wrong with your voice? Because in a basketball game, unlike any other sport, 30 seconds can be the, the three plays and now the game's over. But I tell you, if we were playing PS5, I bet you you'd be talking. I, as uncomfortable as it is, you gotta be comfortable with pointing, talking, matching up, fixing it, fixing it, fixing it. It can't always be the coach is yelling. It has to be like, you know what, we hold each other accountable. It's not about the coach. I, I'm just a coach at the time, right? This is their team. I'm just your coach right now, right? You're gonna have many more coaches, hopefully. You gotta be able to use your voice. You guys gotta use your voice. That has nothing to do with ability. That is a, that's a choice that you make. Here's the thing, if this thing ain't revved up on all pistons, because again, I'm not trying to kill you guys. What I'm trying to do is make sure this is what we need. Sometimes it, sometimes it comes down to shot. You think it doesn't mean anything, but it may mess with them. Yeah, the de defensive mentality, you want to make sure that you put them in situations that they, they can succeed. I'd much rather you use every weapon that you have than not to use it. So now the next coach, as you shuttle them through, they say the same thing. And guess who gets better? That kid. What we are doing right now, everything is on the catch. I want you to shot fake. I want you to jab. So shot. Right, now jab. Absorb it, now get back. Absorb it, jab. Now get back. Because again, I don't want you guys to jab and then you don't go, now, now go. Man, it's a foul. If when you're guarding the basketball, you gotta think I don't need help. Those other four have to say, I, I'm in help. But we run in and then it's like, oh, should we give up a wide open three? If one guy gets beat, now someone else is in help. Now, guess what, the helper has to help the helper. And it's not worth it versus just, hey, get in a stance and guard your guy. The goal ain't to run in. The goal is to stop, is to stunt and get back to your own. You wanna always make sure you're there on a the catch. If you're defending, you wanna make sure that that person who they're setting the screen for, he's important because if he wasn't important, they wouldn't set it for him. The goal is to pressure and contain. And you may say, coach, I don't like my quickness against this guy. 
All right, so you know if you're close enough, you can touch him. But now you start playing, now you start playing games. But you can't, like you're here, you're here. Now you change the angle of him. But again, like, so a really good player, like he jabs, you take, now he's going back that way. Show your hands, show your hands. Simultaneously, you have to be good on one end to be, good, to be great on the other. But the goal is not to let him get right here. And then it's like, oh, foul, or guess what? We ran in, threw out four shot. Why would we want to give you an advantage? Why would, you, why would we want to give you a five on three or five on four? Dominate, 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 dominate. It's live, fellas. It's live, it's live, it's live, it's live, it's live. There's going to be a day where you don't, where you're not be able to make shots. There's that day. Well, if I defend, my defense stays with me all the time. That's the one thing you can bank on. You can hold your hat on that. I'm going to be able to defend at a high level because I want to. It's not conditional with like, man, my shot is falling wide. You know, if you don't know, but do you stop defending? Got the ball out quick. That was great defense. Again, no, make him a driver. Canelo stayed here. By the way, you got him a great shot. And the reason we got an offensive rebound because the defense was compromised. They were under, right? They got stuck. Big fella cleaned up. Got you a wide open three. Here's the thing. He doesn't get enough credit for that. No one on ESPN shows someone just going to get rebounds. It's not sexy. That's why the first guy is a guard. So let's walk it through. It's here. It's here. No. No. See, here's the thing. If you switch this, you are in no man's land. They're not setting a screen for a guy who can't play. They're setting a screen for a guy who can't play. When we get offensive rebounds, that breaks the other team's back. Just think about when we give up offensive rebounds. That breaks our back. It's big time. That's big time. Clap it up, y'all. Clap it up. Clap it up. <laughs> Switch it. Since COVID started, we've kind of been playing. We follow the rules as best we could with all the information that we've had. You know, we've had limited people in the gym. And you look at our team. They've played in May Hoops West. They played in May Hoops East. They're now in Marquee Hoops. When's the off season? There hasn't been a season off. You know, I, I laugh, and, and that's, the, that's, that's an awesome way um, to put it. You're setting a flare screen. There's non, it's no negotiating. You're going to do what I tell you to do. You're going over. The reason you're going over is because you're going to drop. He can't curl. If he catches it, you can close out. Certain guys, I'll give different rules. But here's the thing, once he goes over, they're not setting a flare for him because he's not, because he can't play. They're setting a flare because he can play. Now, uh-uh, all bets is off. Now I'm attached. I'm on his hip. When you talk about culture, you, you really show who you are when no one's watching. Um, we found something and we're, we're going to keep it working. And as long as we can keep them together, I think we'll go through the roof. And I think that sometimes becomes the challenge when you have that much talent. How do you keep them together? This way it gets fundamentally sound. I want to always show trail, and then at the last minute I can whip if he's a driver, or I just want to trail him out because he's a shooter. This is where we talk about three on the basketball. He catches it, three on the ball. On the flight of the ball, not once he catches it. On the flight of the ball, you got to swipe. You got to take away his chase dribble, his curl. Go again. The community is this gym. Kids from all five boroughs represented different states, you know, Jersey, Connecticut. No one talks about where they're from when they're all together. So now we understand how we got flex screens. We should never get beat on the flex. We should never get beat on the stagger. We should never get beat on the ball screen, right? We know. Won the game. Three straight stops. We got to kill to win the game. And again, guess what? We took pride in our defense. Therefore, we won, man. We were able to win with our defense. That says a lot. But as much fun as I want to have, man, we got to make sure we're taking this serious because I don't want to waste any more time than we've wasted. You got to be tough on the ball, man. You can't let guys just go by. You can't let guys face cut you. It's jump to the ball. Guys, I don't worry about how hard we play. I know we're going to play hard, but we got to do a better job of coming out ready to play. I'm impressed um, with how hard you guys played today after coming off a four game weekend. I'm impressed. Again, your next day is Thursday, rehab, um, recoup. The most important thing, we have to finish strong in school, man. We have to. Most of you guys are going to the ninth grade next year, right? Who's going to the ninth grade next year? 
let's make sure um, that this is this is real because we're spending a lot of time on the road. Let's spend the same amount of time on our books, man. Um, let's also be smart with COVID. COVID is far from over. Let's look after one another. I don't know if you guys text one another, but just check on somebody. Check on somebody. Um, they don't understand the legacy because I think they're too young. I think like the eighth graders, we understand the legacy a little bit because those guys come out to see them. But we got to do a better job of just teaching them who you are as a gaucho or, or you know, as a African-American young male or female. I'm never going to get mad at you. Like, I couldn't get mad. They were running circle. They were setting the back screen. We never went over that. That's on me. But I do know this. If you pressure the ball, they can't get that off. I'm telling you, you know what blows up every good offense? Ball pressure. Same thing in basketball. If you got a point guard, he's just like. <laughs> versus, damn, I can't make the. He was, I'm open, but I can't make the pass. That's what this all, it starts with ball pressure. If you can pressure the basketball, they can't run their stuff. Think about it, we got a 30 second shot clock. That's where you start running into problems. Cause you're assuming a 10 or 12 or 13 year old knows what's going on. They might have a clue, but they're just hanging out. Were they better off when you, when you left them versus when you got them? 2025, um, what they did was they saved my life. They don't realize because I had something to live for every day. Hard work on three, family on six. One, two, three. Hard work. Four, five, six. Family. Good job, yo. Because you mic'd up. I'm not mic'd up. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Apple, apple. That's it.